Today we're going to be making a collagraph. Um, a collagraph is a type of print making plate. So we're going to actually going to be print making today. The things that you're going to need are going to be a piece of cardboard, thin cardboard. I usually use cereal box. I've already kind of cut it, cut one of the big sides off. A uh, pencil. I use mechanical pencils just because that's what I have at my house. I have scissors, any type of scissor, and just regular Elmer's glue or in cup. You can use a glue stick too, whatever you have at home. Try your best. Okay, so the first thing, what we're actually going to make today is going to be a collagraph of a slice of cake. So the first thing we're going to do, we have cut out one of the sections of a cardboard box. It's usually the bigger section, but I can do half of a big section and we're gonna cut that. I did a Bisquick box because that's what I have. And then um, that's going to be our plate. That's gonna be our background. Just like when you use a sheet of paper, this is your sheet of paper. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is cut a second piece to make our background and our item. So the first thing that we're going to put on this project is going to be our tabletop because we are making, like I said, a slice of cake. And do you normally have a slice of cake just on the floor? I hope not because that's, that's gross. Um, so you're going to make your tabletop first. I have cut another smaller piece. This is from Turkey Burgers. I like Turkey Burgers. So I've cut a smaller piece. I want to make my tabletop. So these are almost the same width. You want it to be at least bigger or the same size you don't want it to be any smaller because then you don't have a tabletop over their whole project and I don't want it to be this high up because then there's not a lot of wall space behind it so I'm going to cut mine smaller so I'm gonna cut it I'll take about a quarter of it off a fourth of it away I want to cut on a straight line if you have a ruler or a straight edge like a book and you want to trace that with your pencil you can I'm confident in my straight cutting skills so I did not do that so now I have my tabletop that's the first thing that I want this will be my wall and then I'm going to take some glue and glue it on when I glue this on I do not put big globs of glue I apply it thinly and I kind of rub it all over this does not take a lot of glue we're not doing the dot dot not a lot because it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot of cardboard so it's thin it's thinly applied but it's all over the whole piece and then I'm going to put it down make sure that it lines up even because if I have it crooked does that look like a tabletop no it does not so I'm gonna straighten that up like I said, it's okay if it goes over the edges because we can cut that off later. That's perfectly fine. So now I have my tabletop. Next thing, if I have a slice of cake, do you just eat cake with your hands or do you normally have it on something? I normally put mine on a plate, so I'm going to draw a plate. Um, when I draw a plate, we know that plates are round. They're circles. But... I'm not looking at it straight down, right? Because this is my tabletop and this is the wall. So I'm looking at it straight ahead, like it's sitting on the table and I'm standing in front of the table. So to draw that shape, I cannot do a circle. I have to do an oval because that's how it looks from that angle. So I'm gonna get another piece of cardboard and I'm gonna draw a thin oval. If your pencil breaks, fix it. Notice, when I drew my oval, did I draw it in the middle of this paper? I did not. I put it up near the edge so that when I cut it, it's easy and I don't waste all of this cardboard because I can use this cardboard for something else later. So now I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to cut my oval. If I don't like it, if I don't think it's perfect, that's okay. That's why we use the smaller size and we don't just put... It right in the middle of the paper because if for some reason we don't like it we can go back and do it again we have all this cardboard left for us to use all right so now I've got my oval for my plate if you want you can look at it you could draw designs on it but you're not gonna see it on your call graph so when you make your print you won't see it 
there's no point in doing that extra unless you want your print your plate to be your artwork too which you can do so I've got my plate if I put it over here is this a balanced artwork nothing all this empty space over here if I put my cake right here and I have all this empty space that doesn't look very balanced does it so I'm gonna put it right in the middle like I said when we glue we don't use a lot but we just kind of rub it on there we don't want to use a ton but we also don't want to just put our little dots because we won't have enough left so like we said place it in the middle put it there the next thing you're going to do is make your cake when you make your cake this is a drawing thing so you are going to have to draw a slice of cake so I'm going to show you very quickly how to draw that slice of cake you are going to get the rest of your cardboard see this is the piece that we've already cut something out of I told you we need to use it so we're going to use this piece the first thing I'm gonna do is draw a line straight down I don't want my cake to be wider than my plate right so I'm gonna make sure that this isn't any wider than this so I'm going to draw my straight line down and then I'm going to draw this line if I draw it this way just another straight line so I've got a right angle a 90 degree angle right here just like an L I'm gonna draw an L and then I'm gonna make it longer right here the next thing I'm gonna draw another line so I'm just making a rectangle right now that's all we're doing is making a very simple rectangle after I make my rectangle I'm gonna put a line a little bit higher at an angle it's not a very sharp angle it's a slight angle when I do that and then I'm going to slant a line right here so I've just made another triangle on top and this now this looks like a piece of cake so then I can go in and I can put in my frosting however high if you like a lot of frosting you can put a lot of frosting I don't like a lot so I'm not putting a lot and then I've got to put my frosting on the side because remember cakes get frosting on the side and I like to put a little line in the middle just so I have a little bit more color to add now I made my frosting kind of curvy and soft once I've got that I can kind of go over those lines a little bit next thing I'm gonna do is cut out this slice of cake Notice how when I cut, I turn with the hand that's not cutting and I cut gently and slowly with my scissors. I'm not rushing and I'm making sure that those are smooth lines. Now I have my background, I have my wall, I have my table, I have my plate. The next thing I'm going to do is place my cake on top of that. So once again, glue thin glue not a lot of glue just enough and I'm gonna place that on top so right now I've got my tabletop my wall my plate and my cake now if I just went ahead and I printed this I wouldn't be able to see all the details or anything on my cake so what I'm gonna do next is cut out some small pieces of cardboard that are curvy because I kind of want like I said I drew those lines that were curvy I kind of want these curvy shapes so I can do little simple curved shapes these are gonna help my frosting when I'm ready to put it all together at the end And we said that we were gonna put a little bit of icing down here in the middle so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to cut a straight line maybe a little too long right now but that's okay because I would rather it be long too long and I can cut it down than too short and I cannot use it 
So I've made this long line that's going to be the icing in the middle of the cake. I'm going to use my pencil to draw where I need to cut. Okay. And then I'm going to put a very thin line of glue because if I make it super thick, it's going to make a big mess and my family is not going to be happy when I mess up our house. So I'm going to press this down. Remember to give it a minute to stick. You do not want it to pop up when you're trying to make your print. Now, I've made that a little bit longer than it has to be. I could have cut it right here. But instead, what I'm going to do is glue some above and some below the line. That's more work for you. Don't do it if it's more work. It's easy for me, but it may be annoying or hard for you. So once again, a thin line of glue and another thin line of glue to make that icing right here. Now that's too long, right? So I'm going to draw a line where I need to cut it. I'm going to cut. And now I have, should be the right length. Yes, it is. All right, I've got my icing on the middle and the bottom. And I think that's too long, so I'm quickly going to cut it down a little bit. All right, that looks nice and smooth and like I want it to look. So then I've got to add in the icing up here. I'm going to look at this and draw a triangle like the top of my cake with my extra cardboard that I have. I'm going to cut that. And then I can glue it on. Yeah, that looks like a cake. We're doing good. We're making cake. And so we've cut out these little small chunks, curvy chunks of cardboard. I think I've made my edge too long. So we're going to cut that down a little bit. And then I can use these curves to make my icing come up a little higher. Put those curves in there. So that it looks more like real icing. If I got really fancy and I wanted to add more shapes and designs in the background, I could. Sometimes I'll put lines in the background, which would just be cutting your cardboard into straight lines. And then cutting those lines into smaller pieces. I always put the cardboard side without the pretty colors on the front so that I can really see how the artwork's going to look. So now that I've got my lines, I think that it would look nice if I made the cake look like it was glowing and or I'm just super excited about the cake. So this is me being like, yay, cake. So 